Nico Minaru is here, and I think she's easily one of the most fun and interesting releases Marvel Snap has ever had. While I usually shy away from making stronger valuations of cards early on, her cheap energy cost and flexibility of the effects that her spells offer honestly would make me pretty surprised if she doesn't end up in some type of competitively viable Marvel Snap deck. Her effects range from incredibly powerful things, such as changing your next card into a demon, or destroying your next card and drawing two cards, which is honestly just absurd in the 12 card deck that Marvel Snap has to other various utility things such as moving your cards location to the right or giving them a little bit of extra power like an additional copy of Forge or being a makeshift Scarlet Witch letting you replace a troublesome location or even doubling up a powerful card that you have that you've added other bonuses to. She can also make herself larger on occasion and overall just does a little bit of everything and makes the output range of the deck that you're playing in her be pretty unpredictable since your opponent's not really going to be certain which effect you could be teeing up. Today's deck list takes great advantage of a number of these different spell effects. It is a Phoenix Force Destroy Deadpool deck. So basic idea of Phoenix Force is revives to merge with one of your previously destroyed cards. So ideally, we're looking to either reanimate a Human Torch who doubles its power when it moves or a multiple man who creates copies of himself when he moves. So that way, as the Phoenix Force moves around the board, we get value from this. Because we're going to be blowing things up with Carnage and Venom and Death, Deathlock, the secondary game plan is this deck is looking to level up Destroy All-Star Deadpool, who we can make bigger with either Nico's bonus or the Forge to scale up and up and up. Taskmaster has coverage between both parts of the deck because it can either double up the massive bonus on a Human Torch Phoenix Force that's moved around the board, or it can play out in tandem with a Deadpool on the final turn of the game, making you a large threat. I really like the double axis of attack that this deck has. Sometimes you're a Phoenix Force deck that pops off, sometimes you're a Deadpool deck that pops off, and Nico Minaru's spells kind of tie in both of these parts together, being synergistic with both of them in different ways. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the game highlights that I have for you today. I think they do an excellent job of showcasing this deck and Niku's role inside of it. If you do enjoy what you see, snap that like button for the rest of the day. Have fun. Go 37 power Taskmaster here. Deadpool here. Hard. It's typically a card that had a large impact on the metagame in some way. So post Mobius, Mobius's effect had a large impact on Marvel Snap. Or Mobius's release, you could say. They just have a little baby Taskmaster here. Chavez, yep, same difference. Okay, and this is just like the actual nuts draw, right? You just like get to Nico and to blow up the cards you want to blow up, draw two cards towards your Phoenix Force. Oh no! Punish for playing on the face down location. I think we'll forge the Phoenix Force happily, right? So it's bigger. To the person we timed out for saying I'm a Dan hip hater and I'll happily spend channel points for this. Maybe I just shouldn't acknowledge it because you're obviously thirsty and attention seeking, but I'd really encourage you to have some self introspective and maybe learn to just let other people like things instead of just being how you are. I don't know who hurts you growing up, but it's okay to let other people have fun with stuff. I promise. It's fine for you to not like Dan Hip stuff. I, uh, I don't care for a number of Dan Hip things, but I don't just go around announcing it when nobody asked. Oh, 
Okay, so I go torch to here, torch to here, taskmaster to here, call it a day. And then our human torch was bigger than theirs because of <coughs> because of what's it called? Uh, because of forge, so that's nice. And then I'll put Deadpool here for the tiebreaker. Okay, and then they have Artem Zola here in the middle, but ours are bigger, so we're good to go. They're only 28, ours are 39. That extra, that extra two points goes a long way. I really don't like the Zola builds. I think, I think Taskmaster is the one you want and it's all you need. I'm gonna wait to play Deadpool because we could draw Forge or Nico with a power up or Nico with the destroy. That was late. Effects like Nico and Zola should really be worded as destroy too. A big agree. Oh, does Nico not show the animation here on her card? Hood plus Nico equal Bogo Demon. Yeah, that's one way to think about it. Potentially like three energy for 14 power. It's above rate. Oh, oh wow. Okay, and this is after so we get, we get the full stats then, right? Uh, they're either about to loop cage or they've made a terrible mistake. Why not play for left? Why should I play for left? Don't ask me why not. Form an articulation and make an argument for why I should make the play you're suggesting. Uh, we'd have won even without their mistake, right? Or maybe not. Their Angela would have been a bit bigger. Their demon would have been a bit bigger. The demon would have been plus three. I think we would have won regardless, right? Because the, the demon would have been six and the Angela would have been, uh, I think, plus four. So plus seven would have put them to 25. Nico's been out for five minutes if she's good. Listen, Chad, if Nico was a Magic the Gathering card, I would be advising you to cash out your IRAs right now and invest, 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 okay? That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. It's 
Someone has not playing with Nico yet. There's literally a deck list above my head, gamers. Okay, so replacing this location is actually kind of okay for us, right? Come on, Death's Domain! <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's fine, right? No, it's terrible, actually, because I don't get my Deadpool back. Uh, I'm going to put Taskmaster here, and we'll win the game, Cope. <laughs> 13, 26. Uh, we're beating, uh, we're beating, what's his name here? Red Skull. Oh my God, is this a Nimrod? Please be Nimrod. Draws go. Something we could blow up here is exactly what we wanted. What's going on, Spill? Thanks for the prime. Putting your second card in the same path as your Craven is certainly a decision you are allowed to make. We just pass on three and then. Oh, yeah, because it's going to give us the final state, which will be a human torch. Oh, oh, wait, it's bugged, though, right? It's bugged, though? That's sad. The copies of... Is it bugged from hand? Actually, I don't know. I, I assume it's going to be bugged from hand. But... Yeah, Copy, copies of the Phoenix Force don't retain the ability for it to move like they're supposed to. If this wasn't bugged, it would be so good. This is the same thing with the multiple man bug, right? I'm definitely moving this. The question is, do I want to forge Deadpool Venom? There's no reason to play the the Deadpool out. Because uh, I'm drawing Chavez. Okay, yeah. So it loses the ability to move anywhere. But can still move to New York. Yeah, they're leaving. Okay, so the bug made that a little bit less impressive than it otherwise could be, but we're still plenty good here. That's sweet. I would snap this hand, I think, if I didn't wasn't worried about chasing my opponent out.
I think I'm gonna do this just in case uh, we peel a Phoenix Force next turn. Although I, I'd probably rather uh, just get my Deadpool big, right? The uh, Nico double up spell is one we haven't seen yet, I don't think. Enough said, Bob. It would be a sweet one to get next turn. All right, and at this point, we just don't need to Nico, right? I'm just doing this into big, t big Deadpool Taskmaster. Hey, simple manipulator! Thanks for the brand new prime. Appreciate it. only winning they're not winning I'm just winning every location right so it all doesn't work for them and their Deadpool's only 12 so they like Deadpool Taskmaster here I win here and here it's death yeah no plus death uh no left plus death middle could have gotten us so they, they messed this up. Lots of other things. Uh, this is a hand that I would snap, but I'm trying not to chase people out with turn one snaps while we're making content. But I wanna call it out if you're playing a deck like this. This type of opening hand is a turn one go, go, go. I think we're just passing. So if you Phoenix Force on the Vats, you do not, the one you create as a copy cannot move on its own. But it is a 1-7, so like it's not bad. Let's go move you here go spider you back i'll do this into this into this and then this one that i end on i could pull with the cloned ghost spider from the vats next turn final answer there's a lot of draws in this deck where you just don't taskmaster but there's other draws where you do and it's great so just be aware of the ones where you want to do that versus the ones where you don't my suggestion to you. And they're they're just out of here. Nico sometimes being an extra forge for Deadpool is also really great. Ah, perfect. Widow into Thor. When it's cooking. And then fun interaction here. Quantum Realm incre increases Deadpool's base power. So he'll actually go uh, plus one here, I believe. Or is it plus two, actually? I actually don't know offhand. Does he go up to eight or does he go up to seven? 
He goes up to eight. It's great, because there's a 2x supplied to him. It's basically a free 2x. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Venom gets one smaller there, but that's fine. If we're skilled, Nico here will give us the destroy your card, draw two cards. Uh, that's also fine, right? We just do this this turn. And this will go up to uh, 36. They look like they're playing maybe Lock Thor that has uh That is like Black Widow as a cheap card to put in a lockjaw. And then ideally we draw Taskmaster here, obviously. The spells are random, but they do not repeat. Oh, Ghost Spider's actually pretty good here too, right? I think I just pulled Chavez into the Quantum Realm and we just slam Deadpool over here, right? Oh, actually, I could go Phoenix Force into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we dodge a Shang-Chi on the right, we can dodge a ball. They've got, they've got some weird ones in their deck, so this could be a Shang-Chi, realistically. Oh, it's just a zero. Cool. That's a sweet game. Oh, Nico did buff herself from Phoenix Force. That's a good catch slash interaction. Weird. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.